Hey guys, um, I wasn't able to post a video the last two weeks, but this morning I was spending some time with my coffee and my Bible and I was praying and I was just overwhelmed with the remembrance of the scripture from 2 Chronicles chapter 7. And I've heard people discussing it a lot here lately and actually not so much here recently it was actually several weeks ago that i heard several people begin to discuss it but i've not heard much mention of it anymore but this morning it just it came to mind the lord brought it to mind and i got my bible out and it's a familiar piece of scripture for me and i've read it several times but this morning it just it set a little bit different than it ever has so I want to read that for you right now from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, beginning in verse 13. It says, When I shut up heaven and there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their land, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Now, I've heard a lot of people quoting this and referencing this um, in the midst of all this pandemic that we have going on with the coronavirus and how we needed to call out to the Lord to, to heal us, to heal our neighbors, to send physical healing to stop this virus. And I want you to know that I truly believe that the Lord is concerned with our prayers and He desires to heal us physically. But this morning when I was reading this scripture and I was praying about it, that's not what I felt. I do feel that the Lord desires to heal our land. However, we are so focused on the physical side of healing that I feel we've completely missed the type of healing that I believe the Lord wants to pour out on us right now in this season of our life, in this season um, in our, our world, in our country. So that's what I want to discuss with you really quick. The healing that I feel that the Lord wants to send out, yes, I believe the Lord is concerned with physical healing. And yes, I know that He, uh, he hears our cries for physical healing. But more than that, He desires that we're healed from the ultimate disease of sin. He desires that we're healed of the sin disease that each and every one of us possess. And ultimately, that healing comes through salvation with Jesus Christ. I feel that the Lord is calling out to us. He's trying to use this time to bring to the forefront of our minds the type of healing that each and every one of us stand in need of. You may be watching this and you may not personally know anyone that's been sick sick with the coronavirus or you yourself may not be sick with the coronavirus and praise the Lord if you're not. However, I do believe that the Lord, he wants to pour out healing upon us. What type of healing do you ask? If it's not physical healing, then what type of healing does the Lord want to pour out on us? I believe that... Um, he's desiring to heal us from our sinful thoughts. He desires to heal us from our sinful lust of the flesh. He desires to heal us from our addictions, from our sin that binds us, that causes us to, to become wayward. Is it possible that the Lord in this season of our life isn't talking so much of a physical healing but perhaps a healing from our sin nature that we walk in. Is it possible that he's talking about the healing of our perversions? Is it possible that he's talking about the healing of the lust of the flesh that we choose to walk in daily? Is, is it possible that he's wanting to, desire, to heal us from our immoral actions, our immoral thoughts, our deceitful thoughts that we willingly walk in every day? Is it possible that he wants to heal us from the overwhelming desire to be consumed and to consume material objects, material things, instead of being consumed by him and daily seeking him. Is it possible that he wants to heal us of the pride, the pride that has just snuck into our hearts and taken root in our hearts and our mind? 
Is it possible that he wants to reach into our homes and heal our families, heal our marriages? Is it possible that he's crying out to us in this time, wanting us to humble ourselves before him, cry out to him for healing for the addictions that bind us, those sins that we participate in that have bound us for so long and he desires for us to humble ourselves, to call out to him and ask him to heal us of those things. Is it possible that um, he wants us to ask for healing in our thoughts of allowing filth to guide us? Allowing filth and perverse thoughts to guide our actions, to guide our thoughts. Is it possible that he wants us to cry out to him, Father, heal me of my anger and my wrath that I pour out on my family and on my friends? You know, pestilence literally means contagious or infectious disease. That is devastating. What is more infectious, contagious, and devastating than the disease of sin. We're all born sinful. We're all born with a sin nature. And God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us to save us from our sins. If we accept him as our savior, we are forgiven of that sin and we are healed of that sin. However, I feel that we've just said, you know, I'm saved, I'm good. I'm going to walk and act and talk and think however I want. But that's so not what God desires of us. He doesn't desire that we continue to walk in that sin. He doesn't, continue, he doesn't desire that we continue to walk in those perverse thoughts. He doesn't desire that we continue to walk in those addictions and that anger and that wrath. He desires that we humble ourselves, that we turn to him, that we seek his face, and that we cry out to him, Lord, heal my heart. Heal my mind. Lord, heal me in these addictive behaviors and these sins that I willingly walk in each and every day. Mom, Dad, is it possible that he desires to enter into our homes during this time to work on our individual hearts, to heal our own individual hearts, so that we can teach of that sin forgiveness, we can teach of that healing to our children? Is it possible that during this season that the Lord's main concern, though he is concerned with physical healing, but his main concern this season possibly isn't even the physical healing of ourselves, but perhaps the Lord's main concern during this season is the healing of our hearts, the healing of our families, the healing within our marriage. Perhaps the Lord is offering this time for you to seek healing within your marriage, to seek healing within your family, to seek healing within your own heart from the sin, the addictions, the things that have bound you. I pray that the Lord heals us. I pray that he heals our land, not just so much physically, but I pray that he is convicting hearts of this healing that needs to take place within our homes, this healing that needs to take place within each and every Christian within this world. The healing of the pride that has crept into our hearts, the healing of arrogance, the healing of um, the, the lust of the flesh, the healing of religion versus true repentance, and seeking after the Lord's face. That's what the Lord has impressed on me this morning. Is not so much physical healing. But during this time he is seeking out to heal our hearts. He is seeking out to heal you first and foremost from that sin nature that you're born with. Through salvation. But Christian he's also using this season to bring to the forefront of your mind. The healing perhaps that needs to take place in your own heart. In your own life. Mom, dad, perhaps he's trying to show you the healing that needs to take place within your marriage, within your home. His word says that if you humble yourself and pray and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways, that he will 
heal the land. Know that if you humble yourself, pray, seek his face, and we always want to forget the humble and the turn from our wicked ways, but they're so important. First, we must humble, pray, seek his face, and finally turn from those wicked ways that you must be healed from. And he said that he will heal our lands.